There's other dimensions too to the theme that I think are really important for the labour movement today. Because the working class in Australia is enormously impacted by migration. Let's be honest, there's very few of us who don't come from a migrant family somewhere. I've got a few convicts in my family, but our, our workplaces are full of people who've come recently, who are the children of migrants, uh, and so on. We're a migrant society. In fact, we couldn't have big cities uh, without migration, could we? Um, I'm a migrant from Victoria. Um, I, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, it was one of two people that wouldn't mind doing that. So, and, and, and alongside our experiences of organising uh, migrants, of organising a culturally diverse working class, we also have the experience of globalisation, which is also turning us into workers of the world in an entirely different way, which is also a challenge uh, for our movement. And so we're going to be, again, looking for contributions on those themes, as well as for people who just want to get up and talk about uh, a great labour activist that they've researched, one of their experiences, just labour history uh, in, in its kind of really basic down to earth sense as well. So uh, look out for it. There's, we've got some leaflets on the conference. Um, we've got a, a, a we've, we've been sending out information. Uh, there's a website for it. And we've got one of the, one of America's great labour historians coming uh, to Brisbane to share her um, knowledge and experience, a woman called Ruth Milkman, who wrote a great book on the Los Angeles labour movement and the way that immigrants uh, basically helped rebuild the labour movement in Los Angeles. Um, so she'll be a fantastic speaker. She's a great speaker and someone with a wealth of knowledge from a, a different perspective. So. Uh, we just want to let everyone know about it, uh, get involved, and hope to see everyone there. Uh, I'd like to ask Lynn to come up for Alex's daughter and she have to say a few words about uh, what's been written on Alex so far.
wants to say something about the Labor History Project, briefly. It involves speech. Uh, he said that the four bad things happened in 1985. Um, uh, if I've got it right, it was the deregulation of the DLF, the deunionisation of the and the much very dispute, which basically bought the uh, Big Workers Union for many years. And the fourth was, of course, the secret dispute and a number of people in this room are um, participants in that dispute, as we've heard. Uh, Bernie Neville and myself, as a couple of sort of renegade grassroots rank and file activists, we've decided to take on the project and we, 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 need, we need some help. Uh, uh, the help we need is we're trying to look at why um, and what influence the uh, the Hawke government and the ACTU through uh, Bill Kelsey and Simon Green had on the carriage of that 1985 dispute. So our overall question is why was the dispute lost and how could it have been won? And the second thing is why was it that the old guard, and I'm talking here about Neil Kane. Tommy Burns and Ned Warburton, why did the old guard, particularly Neil Kane, Kane, exempt himself from participation in a dispute which he was the palpable leader of? Um, so anyone who's got recordings, photos, eyewitness accounts, personal knowledge, and I know there are lawyers in the room, also want hearsay. <laughs> uh, anything you've overheard, whether in this building or the old trades hall, we want to know about it. Um, now, people might think, the younger people in the room might think, oh, we went around 30 years ago. Well, as the historians in the room will know, um, history's got a funny thing of catching up with you. Across the road, Bernie and I have uncovered 50 hours of recordings of these people that I've just mentioned, and, and, and also, you know, the big uh, meetings at Ferry Park and uh, Lang Park and, and in this building as well, we've unca uncovered sound recordings, which we want to go through. And if there are any of the younger union activists here who want to help us in any way in going through what is a mammoth set of recordings, mind you, this is all contingent on the State Library of Queensland releasing them to us. And even though we have the absolute support of the filmmaker who made the recordings, the absolute support of the participants, for some crazy reason, could it be political, State Library of Queensland has refused us access to those tapes. And we're determined to get it. We're going to get those tapes. And when we do, boy, are we going to have some fun listening to what these are. These these uh, union officials and uh, you know, comrade over there said, Labor Party, it's a problem. Well, we've got to look at the Labor Party. And I think we should be out in the open about it. We should not hide. We're, we're, we support rank and file unionism. So Bernie and me, anyone wants to talk to us, come up afterwards and we'll have you out again. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, just about to finish up, uh, just before we draw the raffle, um, 
just like to thank uh, thank you all for attending and thank the people who organised uh, our executive committee who organised the food and the drink for tonight. Um, can I ask Bob to... Now, there's three prizes. You've got a choice. Thank you. 